Talk about creating a lasting legacy. The National World War II Museum is bringing history to life with some brand new interactive exhibits. The museum interviewed 18 veterans from the greatest generation, including a Medal of Honor winner who died in 2022, and combined their stories and images with artificial intelligence. The result? People who go to the museum can have an AI-assisted conversation with real-life veterans. Olin Pickens is one of those veterans. The 102-year-old now has his own avatar, which is part of the interactive display called Voices from the Front. In 1943, Pickens' battalion was captured by German forces in Tunisia. He spent the rest of the war in a prison camp. Now, through this cutting-edge technology, his story of survival will survive long after him. I'm making history to see myself telling the story of what happened to me over there. In addition to troops overseas, the U.S. had plenty of home front heroes as well during the war. And museum visitors can hear from some of their avatars as well. Museum goers can ask questions of a military nurse, an aircraft factory worker, and even a dancer who performed at USO shows. You know, we're beginning to get to a time when the opportunity to speak to a real World War II veteran is more and more rare. But this will allow uh, people for the next hundred years to talk to World War II veterans and really have a real conversation, not just watch a film on TV. The setup is simple. People can chat with the life-size projections while sitting in a chair. Instead of a handshake, introductions are made through a console. And it's married with voice recognition software and artificial intelligence. So that all the visitor has to do is press the button ask a question, and the software matches their question to the most appropriate of those thousand answers that the veteran gave. The National World War II Museum in New Orleans, which used to be called the National D-Day Museum, was always a veteran-friendly place. Plenty of them volunteered at the museum, sharing their experiences with guests over the years. But after the COVID-19 pandemic, opportunities to share those experiences dwindled. Thanks to the Voices from the Front project, though, plenty of future generations will know what it took to be named the greatest generation.